um, order. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first, what we'll do first is the invocation. We'll have the invocation uh, performed by Member Mann, and then that'll be followed with the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be performed by Member Johnson. Yes, Mr. Let us all stand. Face the flag. Okay, we'll now have the roll call and determination of quorum. Chair Odom. Present. Member Bandor. Present. Member Lewis. Present. Member Mirza. Absent, excused. Member Mann. Present. Member Shropa. Absent, excused. Member Johnson. Present. And Member Brennan. Present. Quorum is met. Thank you. Uh, we'll now have the swearing in of officers and all witnesses. If you are planning to speak tonight, please stand and raise your right hand. All right. Do you and each of you solemnly swear and affirm that the testimony you're about to present shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Let me see. Thank you. Okay, now we will have a reading of the consent agenda. Good evening, Madam Chairman and board members. I'm Doug Gaines, Assistant Director of Support Services. We have two for uh, dismissal or incompliance this evening, and that's 2021-00554 and 2021-00587. Both of those are in compliance, and we thank those citizens. Thank you. Okay. Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. Uh, yes. Uh, I move that uh, in case number uh, 2021-00454 uh, be moved to the beginning of the agenda and then we can refer back to the original uh, cases. Okay. Second the motion. Okay. Um, I have a motion made by Member Bander uh, that the case number 2021-00454 be moved to the front and we will resume the order after. And it was seconded by Member Mann, I'm sorry. Uh, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Or do we have an order on the consent agenda? Okay. Do we have a motion on the consent agenda? All right, uh, Madam yes. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. Thank you. Yes. Motion. To accept the Kent consent agenda as presented by the city. A second. Okay. Um, we do have a motion before the board uh, for the approval of the consent agenda as made by Member uh, Bander and seconded by Member Lewis. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I didn't see 00587 anywhere on the list. Uh, yeah, yeah, second page. It's the second. Top right hand corner. Yes. What? 00487. Uh, zero, 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 yeah, four, four, five, four. Five, four. Well, why it's does it say 587 yeah. on the exempt one? I beg your pardon, I didn't hear you. On this page, it says 587. This one says 487. Are you the same one? It's 2021-00454. Yeah. This should be the second one in your... Second page, uh, right here, top right-hand corner. I guess I'm, you guys understand what I'm saying. It's all right. Do you have it? Yes. Okay. One moment. You might have the wrong one. Okay. This page here, this code thing, 
That's 587. Oh, okay. I didn't see 587 anywhere on here, did I? Sure. That's it. Um, that's, that's seven. That's for those dismissed. Okay, where is it? This one is. Five by four is. Five by four is. I see four eights. I'm going to see five eights. Right there. Take out the other one. That one's dismissed. Mm -hmm. these, okay. Both of these two are dismissed. Okay. And then the one that we're moving forward is the same one. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Okay. 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 Okay yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four eight seven five eight seven are right next to each other. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, resuming, we'll now hear from. Let's see. We'll hear uh, case number two zero two one dash zero zero four five four, presented by Officer Secrets, and we do have the respondent available um, who will speak afterwards. Okay. Bob Shigers, Code Enforcement Officer, City of Ocoee. Mm -hmm. Reference City of Ocoee, case number 2021-00454. Location of the violation is 2415 Calch Court, Ocoee, Florida. It's a citizen complaint and it's an occupied property. On June 21st, I observed uh, work without a permit there's a new gazebo, approximately 14 by 16 feet, with four by four column posts and roof over in the backyard, submitting exhibits A through C. On June 23rd, a notice of code violation was issued and mailed to the property owner as identified by Orange County tax records as Lopez Vieda Miguel Angel. The notice was for violation of code 5113 and allowed the property owner to July 23rd to correct the violation and comply with the code. Code 5113 states, permits required. It shall be a violation of this chapter for any person to do any work related to building or other type of construction work without first obtaining a permit, therefore, from the building department. On July 27th, I reinspected the property and observed non-compliance, and on August 12th, Statement of violations, notice of hearing, and proof of service were sent certified and regular mail to the property owner by the board clerk. On August 13, the property was posted, and the second posting was placed inside the lobby at City Hall with 24 hour public access. On the 24th of August, today's date, the property was reinspected and observed to be in non compliance still. The city is requesting a compliance time of 30 days, followed by a fine of $50 per day thereafter if found non compliant. Okay. I'm sorry. Would you repeat the um, fine again? Uh, you said yeah. 30 days. And $50 per day. Oh, okay. Per violation? Yeah, but there's only one violation. Right. So At this yes. point, okay. it would be 50 per day total. Okay. Um, we do have the respondent um, um, here, so if you would like to stand up, um, please state your name and address for the record. My name is Kaylee Lopez, and address is 2415 Couch Court, Detroit, Florida. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say. Um, I was just told um, maybe to ask for some time um, so that we are able to complete the permit. We did submit a permit. Um, we submitted as much as we could, but we weren't able to get, I believe it was a site plan, which um, they said that mostly engineers would be able to create that plan, um, which we are, we don't know how to create one. We did try to contact some people to try and help us out. Um, we did have one person come in and take a look at it. They said they would give us a call back, but they never did. 
and like I said, we don't really know how we would go about making one. We submitted what we could, like I said, um, so it would be greatly appreciated if we could have some more time to be able to complete it. Okay. So you stated that you had, um, you did apply for the permit. Right. When did you apply? Um, I know, I believe it was last month, July or June. I'm not exactly aware what specific date it was. I see. Um, How much more time are you asking for? Maybe a month or two, whatever you guys are willing to give us. Okay. How, who did you um, actually deal with in terms of the city or engineers? Who did you submit this uh, to? Who did you give this to? Um, who did we submit the permit to? Yes. Well, we did it online. So. Okay, to, to whom? The city of Okoye. City of right. Yeah, city of Okoye, okay, right. That's yeah. What I'm at, yeah, uh -huh. that's what I wanted to know. Okay, and, and you said you did that sometime in July? I believe so, yes. Okay. And you never, uh, was this communicated uh, to your office of secrets at any point? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. So who responded back to you from the city? Um, I'm not aware of the name. And did you bring any of those emails? So do they mm -hmm. correspond back with emails or um, a phone yeah. call? Yeah, we have the emails. We just don't have them printed out, but we could pull them up on the phone. Mm -hmm. so that would have been something good to bring the, mm -hmm. to this yeah. for this evening. Okay. Where does it stand at this point with the city? I mean, I, I know with as you know you're in violation right now but in your communications back and forth in your emails what what's what's the last thing that the uh, the city told you um that other the, than to come here tonight so yeah mm -hmm. that the permit was not accepted and okay. yeah okay. and to try um putting in the permit again mm -hmm. with the proper documentation mm -hmm. that they were required mm -hmm. yeah from what it sounds like, they're going to need to get engineering drawings. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Right, yes. that, that, yeah. So that's, that's what the building department is going to look for before they can approve yeah. it and final it. Yeah, that, that's why I wanted to know who you're using as engineers. Um, yeah, so we don't need have an one, engineer. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. When I went to everybody, they said, yeah, I'm so busy. We can't keep this one for a month or whatever. Okay, sir. Let me make a recommendation to you, if you don't mind. Yeah. Maybe you can call the city and uh, no. Well, we can't recommend right. anything. That's what okay. they told us. Okay. Yeah. okay. So may, maybe you should look into um, the neighborhood, your neighborhood uh, HOA, HOA, the and see if they have recon rent, can recommend anyone for you. Okay, I mean, let me put you on that. So. Yeah, but you have to have this done. You realize that? Yeah. Right, so we're yeah. Gonna, whatever time we give you, that next time, if you're not in compliance, it's going to be a heavier fine. So it, you need to make an effort, a serious effort to find someone in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. I'll, I'm in your best interest. It's in, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to work on that because I was, the other day, I okay. bring somebody to come and take a look, and he takes the measurements from the thing, and he says, Give me a call back. Okay. Day, so. okay. Excuse me, um, Mr. Gaines. In order to do the permit, I mean, wouldn't you get the permit first, mm -hmm. and then they will advise you yeah. that's, um, that's why that we're, you need? That's why we're here. Okay. The, 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 you built this on your own, correct? You built this with your own hands, probably. Yeah. Okay. okay. And they, yeah, so, they, I, so I mean, they, honestly. I don't know. I will be in trouble if I build this because I say, who's going to bother this thing? I don't know that. This is my first house, what about it? So, okay. I mean, I say I, I just want to have something nice to come outside of my house and sit there. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, at this point, so, I, so I'll so i be in trouble, but I mean. Okay. Yes, but what I'm, what I'm trying to understand is, <clears throat> Okay, you say that's why we're here. They did it without um, an engineer. So now, Correct. I mean, they have to get the engineer. Right. Correct. 
That's right. Oh, okay. Right, you did it without it, a contractor or drawings or anything. Right. You just did it on your own. Right. You so put they it. Didn't, up. They didn't do anything. You right. He put you put it up yourself, yeah. without contact, before contacting uh, anyone. Yeah. Do you live in an HOA? This, yeah. There's not a specific HOA. I uh, okay, I'm just asking room. because we want to be clear here about what's happening. About the house, they told me the house it was not a good HOA. But yeah, I, I don't know if the HOA is going to be able to help them if they even have one. All right. Really, you just need to let them know how how much time you're going to give them. Okay, okay. But, you know, what we want to do also, Mr. Gaines, is try to avoid them having to come back Well, that, and not be in compliance. The, the key here is yeah. um, getting the engineer. I think yes, that's what's going to yes, be the timeline, yes, you know, between 30 and 60. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Um, Any discussion? You actually asked my question. I wanted to know if, if the if the structure was done prior to a permit and that was already asked and answered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'll entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chairman, I'd yes. like to make a motion. Mm -hmm. uh, I move that in case number two zero two one dash zero zero four five four. Uh, this be it be continued mm -hmm. yes. until let's see what do we have here? Um, let's see, we got September, October. What's it? Sixty days, right? The day before October twenty fifth. Yeah. So October twenty sixth would be the next code or the October code board meeting. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Uh, I move that, that this case 2021-00454 uh, be continued to September 26th uh, code enforcement. The September one is 28th. What's that? September is the 28th. Uh, October will be the 26th. I'm going to go with the October 26th board. So that'll give them 60 days or, uh, roughly. Okay. Uh, to have it completed by that board meeting. Okay. 60 days. But why continue? Because, uh, well, you, we're not really, well, we can have that discussion here in a minute. I'm making the motion. <laughs> okay. So you're looking for a second right now? Yes, before they get fined. Ms. What, as I'm understanding this, if you give them the 60 days, I mean, they may be in violation um, as of uh, the compliance date, but within 60 days, if they get this taken care of, then, you know, they'll be okay anyway. So I don't understand why um, you're continuing it as opposed to just- Setting get, a date and a fine? Right. Giving them the opportunity to um, get this taken care of, and if it doesn't within 60 days, then, then we're, you know, our board has the ability to either continue it more depending upon what they have to say or to set and impose fines at that meeting. Correct. If they come back in so, 60 days, they can ask for more time at that point with you all instead yeah. of imposing fines. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. gotcha. So what, if we continue it or? No, no, no. Oh, okay. you, you can give them 60 days until October and if they're still not finished and they do need more time and they're working with the city, they can come and ask for more time and you guys can give them more time. Exactly. So that, I don't that think would be No, that's if we just go ahead and set it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, yeah. I, you know, I know that I have had a similar situation where we did the, um, you know, we, we, we did it ourselves as the homeowners. Um, there are companies that can put this together for you just need to find the company. 
and for what needs to be done, their drawings and stuff, that is not, uh, you know, real time extensive. It's not, right. you just have to find right. the company. Right. Well, I think yeah. the situation is, is I don't think they have clear direction right now which way to go. Correct. Right, correct. Which is the reason why correct. we're giving them the extra time to, to do this. I mean, I mean, it comes down to either this motion being seconded or, or not. Yeah, but so. I think we need to discuss this a little bit more in terms of, of what, because they can keep coming back and this can go on forever. You, you need, this is on you, sir. You need to find, even if you can go to a local neighbor, your neighbor, somebody that's been and asked about this because we don't want you to keep having to pay these fines. They're going to get more more expensive, and they're going to be continuous. It's not going to go away. Follow what I'm saying? So you need to think of a solution to this before you leave here. We because if, if we give you this time that uh, the board member here is suggesting, and you don't come back with that, we're just going to add more money and time to it. You realize that. Yes. Sir? Okay. So it's in your best interest. You understand what I'm saying? We're trying to help here. It's in your best interest. Yeah, of course. But it's not going to go away. But I mean, sometimes it's hard to do I, this. I, I understand that. What I said, I don't know what I'm going to be on this yeah. situation sure. now. Sure. Just to build this thing in my house. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I, that's I'm all sad because. This is my house. I bought my house, and now I got this situation because I built something on my property. Okay, let me explain oh, that to no. you. No. Stop, no. Hold on for a moment. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put it like this. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that you're here is because you did not follow the guidelines. Yes, you are the homeowner, but your home sits within, you know, a municipality, and there are certain rules and guidelines you have to follow. It's not just about your property, but it's about the safety, mm -hmm. I mean, in the community, and that's something you have to be aware of. The reason that you are here is because you did not uh, follow those guidelines. And what we're trying to do right here, we're not trying to make this hard. We're trying to make it easier. Um, and basically, all this comes down to is you're finding an engineer to do the drawing. That's, that's all it is. And um, like I said, I understand, you know, because like I said, I just went through this uh, uh, two years ago. And I was just like you. I did not know what to do. Um, but I knew that I had to follow uh, the guidelines, um, and it was my responsibility to find out what the city of Akoi uh, required of me. And that permit, whether you buy your prop, I mean, you know, like I said, it is your property, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this is not just about your property. Um, we can't do a permit. I don't have a problem. Put the permit for us to go and <clears throat> get approved, and we, you know, we try to do everything. But I mean, at this point, I was, believe me, I was working on that, trying to find somebody. I don't think, like now, I got a person, so I had to been calling him to see if he can answer me again because the people, I don't know, the people don't want to work, or I don't know, but oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm working every single day from 5.30 in the morning to 7 o'clock on time. And I've been working. I never stopped work. But, yep. I mean, at this point, some people, we asking for something. They just say, uh, we are so busy. We've got too many things to do. And they don't want to do it. That is the nature mm -hmm. of the but industry I mean, right now mm -hmm. in real estate. Mm -hmm. so and I, I know that. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do here is give you enough time. Yeah, I mean, um, I'll share and that. So one of the things, time, I'm gonna try to. yeah, mm -hmm. one of the things, uh, you know, as far as talking with the city, as far as the permit goes, but I mean, you can do something just Google and say engineers near me. I yeah, yeah, we did try it. It's not as easy <laughs> as it yeah. sounds. Um, I mean, 
I even know of a company. <laughs> so I, I actually, I got a question. So with the engineering report, they're also going to be looking at the structural integrity of the structure, everything. What is your plan B if, if you find a company and they say this is just not built to any type of code or so on and so forth? So what is your plan B if that report, if the engineer says I can't, I can't approve this? So therefore not provide any documentation to provide to the city in order to get that permit approved. What is your plan B? Because that goes in line with this motion to uh, give you 60 days to get all of that done. Yeah, I mean, if the engineer, they have to give me like an option to say, okay, you have to do on this or work more on this or do more on this. So I do. Everything what I can do just to keep that, I can do it. So you're in a tough spot. But something to get uh, that permit approved. You're in a tough spot, sir. We realize that. Do the best you can. Sir. That's what you can do. That's what I do. Okay. okay. So, Mr. Uh, Gaines, you said, if we give them, you know, until the October uh, meeting, <clears throat> and um, there's a, a lag in the engineering, coming out, they will be able to request additional time. The board can yes, consider yes. that. You know, the case, <clears throat> case re resolution from previous cases, when they come back and we say it's not in compliance, exactly. you know, impose fine, they mm -hmm. can come back and they can ask for more time. They can ask for another 30 days. Okay. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> you know, if worst comes to worst, they can come into compliance by removing it. Exactly. It looks nice, though. Okay. Well, again. So there's still a motion on the floor. So. Second your motion. Okay, that is a motion for a continuance. To be continued, yes. Okay. Um, are you just seconding that? Uh, I didn't realize who was doing this. I didn't know which one. I'm sorry. I apologize. So did we clear that up? I'm still trying to understand why you want to continue as opposed to just giving them 60 days. I still don't understand. This that. is giving them 60 days to get it, get it taken care of. And if it is, then it's going to be just like Mr. Gaines said, at the, the, the case will be resolved. Okay. If not, then at that point in time, we do the same thing as we would be here today. We will either give them additional time or we'll impose a fine and go from there. I, I just have a question. I, uh, I didn't understand. Well, that just one moment. No, just one, I, mo one, mo one moment. I want to hear what he said. Sorry, Mr. Vandal, that's what we're here for. If you continue it, that's like we didn't even hear it tonight, exactly. basically. Right. And we have to present it all over again in two months. <clears throat> if you say give them 60 days, in violation, of in violation is cited, <laughs> give them till October 26th. And then if they're still in violation, they want to come back, they want to ask for more time, they can ask for more time. Continue, we have to present it all over again. Thank you, thank you. Continue as if there's, there's a problem here and then we have to present it again next month. And, and Bob, Bob retires next month. You guys either have to accept it or reject <laughs> right. it. So, I mean, I, I, okay, I can't so repeat another motion. Okay. My, my, uh, only remember question was, my only question was, I didn't fully understand what he was saying his plan B was. Because the concern, as he brought up, it seems like if an engineer does not certify it structurally, they're going to have a problem, We've been which may include taking it down. You don't and I didn't hear him say that. I heard him say that he's going to do, he's going to fix it. But on the alternative, if, if it does not meet the engineering standard it, that it can be fixed, are you prepared to take it down? Well, can I rephrase what he said in the first sure. place? Yeah. Um, so when they asked him if the engineer um, wasn't able to give him the go-ahead, then he said he would do what he has to do to uh -huh. be able to fit to the engineer standards. 
So therefore, if he has to take it down and rebuild it, he would be willing to do that because that's what the engineer is asking him yes. to do. Yes. Okay. So then I agree with what Mr. Gaines is saying that we should say the kind of specific for them, you know, as if it's her versus. So I don't know what we would have to do with his motion. But well, just like it, like I said, they are in violation motion. Whether we have to address that motion first or make a subsequent motion saying that they are in violation and that they have 60 days to come in compliance or be fine. Because within that time, they should have some report saying either it can be fixed or it has to be, uh, you know, something has to be done with it. Okay. So I, I think we have to first address his motion. Yes. But it's not um, being seconded. I have come willing to make a motion saying that they have 60 days, but they're found in violation as of. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, you're correct. We do have to address Member Bander's motion, That's and right. it has not been seconded. Um, were anyone want to second uh, Member Bander's motion for the continuance? Okay. Um, well, based on that, um, we do not. Uh, we're not going to go with your motion, so I'll en entertain another motion. Um, Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. I'd like to make a motion that in case 2021-00454, that the respondent be found in violation of the code as cited as of July 23rd, 2021, and be given until October 23rd, 2021, to come into compliance or to be fined $50 per day for violation until found in compliance. Okay. I second motion. Okay. I have a motion before the board in case number 2021-00454 made by Member Lewis and seconded by Member Johnson uh, that the respondent be found in violation as of July 23rd, 2021, and that they be given until October 23rd, 2021 to come into compliance or be fined $50 per day. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. Motion carries. Okay. All right. With that, um, you can speak with Mr. Gaines. He'll give you more information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next um, case to come before the board is case number 2021-00452, and it'll be presented by Officer Loeffler. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think this is where he's getting mixed up at, right? That's the next page. No, we're just going back to the first page. Oh, okay. Yeah, back to the first page. Mm -hmm. okay. Case number <clears throat> zero zero four five two is an address in at sixteen thirteen Lady Avenue involves two inoperable disabled vehicles and no address numbers displayed on the building. On July 16th, I observed what the complainant described, two junk vehicles, <clears throat> and then I noticed that there was no address numbers, so I had to manually look it up. On the same day, I posted a violation notice at the location and sent it out certified delivery for violation to the owner who was in Orlando, and that's uh, C. Gobind Persaud. 
and that was for violation of 54-3A, missing no visible address building numbers. They have to be on the front of the building or the mailbox. And 165-3A for the two inoperable disassembled flat tire vehicles. Mm. They were given until July 29th to correct the violation by putting their address numbers up and making the vehicles operable and tagged or removing them. Reinspection was on August 4th. It was non-compliance. Hearing notice was posted and sent certified delivery and posted at the city hall lobby with 24 hour public access. Also the certified mail was signed, received on August 14th. As of this day, it remains non-compliant. The city's requesting a 15 day compliance time frame or $25 per day per violation. So that would be two for any day not in compliance with any orders you give. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Um, Madam uh, Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Uh, you good? <laughs> Let me ask the question oh, okay. real quick. Ask question. <laughs> I just want to know, um, has there been any contact with an individual, I mean, is the place vacant? Or? No, it's occupied. It's occupied? It's occupied by a tenant. Oh, okay. I've had no contact with the tenant or the owner, but the owners at their residence did sign proof of service on the violation notice and the notice of hearings. No address numbers, huh? Okay. All right, Madam Chairman, I'd like <laughs> yes. to make a motion. Okay. I move that in case number 2021-00452, the respondent be found in violation of the codes as cited. Mm -hmm. And uh, as of uh, July 29th, 2021, and be given until September 8th, 2021, to be in compliance or be fined $25 per day per violation until found in compliance. Madam Chairman, I second that motion. Oh, okay. Okay, I have a motion uh, before the board in case number 2021-00452. Um, made by member Bander and second by member Mann that the uh, respondents be found in violation as cited as of uh, July 29th, 2021, and they be given until September 8th to come into compliance or be fined $25 per day per violation until they're in compliance. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Okay, the next. Uh, case to come before the board is case number 2021-00487 and it'll be presented by officer Loeffler. Case number 00487 is 880 Satin Leaf Circle in the Amber Ridge neighborhood, and this results from a HOA management company complaint regarding no front yard anymore, too many pavers, and a gravel driveway on the other side of the house. Research revealed a 2018 permit that was rejected, never finaled, never reinspected, and finally ultimately expired for a few pavers on the side of the house. So the complainant said they think it was way more than what was approved. Okay. As, as you can see in the exhibits, there is almost no front yard. And the picture on the upper right is a gravel driveway, or the bottom left is a gravel driveway and they put the gravel on the easement and then they drive over the curb, the gravel and the sidewalk and then back which is, could easily be permitted, I'm sure. They'd have to build a swale and an apron. But there was no ever any permit for the gravel driveway. Oh, okay. 
this is a landscaping business and paver business, and this is their business. They know how to do this. They did it themselves. So <clears throat> that's the history of this case. I've had no contact with them. Okay. On June 28th, I did observe, as described, a lot of pavers with a rejected expired permit and an unpermitted gravel driveway on the, side of the other side of the house. On the same day, a violation notice was left at the location and sent certified delivery to the property owners as identified by Orange County Records and on your paperwork. I'm not even gonna try it, those names. And this was for violation just one, 51-13. And that is permits required. So they're required to obtain a permit for the gravel driveway mm -hmm. and a new permit for pavers. And as I explained to the HOMA management company, when they apply for the paver permit, it will be discovered if there's too many pavers or setbacks have been violated or that will all come from that. Our interest is that they just get an, a permit approved. I gave them 30 days because of the, they have, a, they've had a lot of permits with the city for other things like a swimming pool and a screening. They know how it works. And I just assumed that they would probably apply to re and state the one permit and obtain another. That's why I gave them 30 days, just knowing the review processes and everything. However, they didn't do anything. And it remains in violation to this day. But anyway, a violation notice was sent out on August, our uh, reinspection revealed non-compliance. I typed this out. So. On August 12th, a hearing notice was sent out, certified delivery, posted in the city hall lobby and at the location. As of this date, it is non-compliant still. The city is looking for a compliance time frame of 15 days and $50 per day per violation, which is two. So the, I have a question. The yep. original permit for the pavers, did it just expire? Was it rejected? It was rejected and what never the, readdressed. What was the reason for the rejection? It doesn't say. I, my printer and my vehicle failed <laughs> at the most inopportune time. I don't know if I can do this. Anyway, I do have an image. Uh, inspections can no longer be scheduled. Permit has expired. Item number 2175-2018 was disapproved. And the description says, add some pavers by the gate. So a uh, quick, quick question for you. I know you mentioned a couple dates in there. First it was 30 days and now it's 15. No, uh, I originally left them a violation notice mm -hmm. of 30 days to I comply. See. Okay. And did they respond back at no. all? No response. Did they receive the yes. uh, certified? Okay. Signed for by a person in the house. So you indicated that the HOA, it was the HOA who made the complaint? Yes, the um, management yeah. company. For the management company. I know typically with an HOA, they have their own way of redressing. Um, was this situ How long was uh, this situ situation before they hmm. reported it? It, well, 2018, so a couple of years. So this says, okay, 2018. And it's an older neighborhood, so some of their bylaws might be much different than a newer uh, neighborhood. I see. Okay. Mm. And also you stated they have multiple permits that have been approved oh, yeah. through the normal process. Yes, sir. 
That's the pleasure of the board. I'll entertain a motion. Madam, Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. Yeah. Have it. Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. I move that in case zero, I'm sorry, two zero zero one zero zero four eight seven. I thought the respondent be found in violation of code as cited as of code uh, 5113 as of July 28th, mm -hmm. 2021, and be fined $50 a day per day per violation to a fine list of compliance. What date? Uh, until? Until, uh, let's give them to 30 days, September 23rd. Well, the recommendation was 15 days. 15 days, okay, mm -hmm. September 8th. Second. Okay. I have a motion before the board in case number 2021-00487, made by member Mann and seconded by member Bander, uh, that the respondents be found in violation of the code um, as cited uh, from since July 28th, 2021 and be given until September 8th, 2021 to come into compliance or be fined $50 per day. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, uh, the next uh, case to come before the board is 20, case number 2021-00330, um, Officer Seacrest. Seagrass, Code Enforcement Officer, City of Ocoee. Mm -hmm. Reference case 2021-00330. Location is 2576 Twisting Sweetgum. That property remains in non-compliance. There's an affidavit on file, and the city's requesting uh, imposing fine. Okay. Madam Chair, okay. let's make a motion. I'm sorry, how much were you imposing, mm -hmm. officer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, here. I'll move that in case number 2021 00330 that the board post fines as of June 9th, 2021. No. What? August 6th. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong date. August 6th. August 7th. 7th. August 7th. How about I get that right? <laughs> All right. August 7th. 2021, uh, as previously set by the board. Okay. I second. Okay. Um, I have um, in case number 2021-00330, um, we have a motion before the board that the respondents um, be found in violation as of August 7, 2021, and they should be um, fined as previously um, stated. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Who seconded that one? I did. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry, Member Johnson. Member Johnson. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the next case to come before the board is case number 2021-00406, um, Officer Loeffler. That is non-compliance. City's requesting order imposing fine. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Okay, yes. Madam Chair, I'd like to move that in case number 2021-00406, the board imposes a fine as of August the 12th, uh, 2021, as previously set by the board, $50 for violation. I second. Okay. And 
motion uh, before the board uh, as presented by member Lewis and seconded by member Johnson in case number 2021-00406 that the respondents be found in violation as of um, August 12, 2021 and that they be uh, fined as previously uh, stated. All those uh, in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, next case um, before the board is 2021-00412, and presented by Officer Rodriguez, or in her stead. Mm -hmm. Officer Rodriguez is not here this evening. Uh, she did re-inspect the property and let me know, it was today at noon, let me know that it is not in compliance, and that's 524 3rd Street. The city is requesting an order imposing fine. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, I move that in case number 2021-00412, the board impose a fine as of August 7, 2021, uh, as previously set by the board, which is $50 per day per violation. Okay. I second. Okay. Who is that? Johnson? Johnson. Oh, okay. Okay, we have a motion before the board uh, presented by uh, Member Lewis and seconded by Member Johnson in case number 2021-00412. Um, asking that um, the board impose fines as previously uh, set um, as of August 7th, 2021. Okay. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. And our last case would be case number 2021-00478, um, Officer Loeffler. I'm happy to report <clears throat> that case is in full compliance. Fantastic. Outstanding. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, that was the last case. So now what we will do is entertain uh, comments. Uh, let's start with member, Mr. Justin Beaver. No comments. Okay. Uh, just good to be back, Mr. Chairman. Uh, those dates I said wrong is because of the mask. It just <laughs> sounded different. No. But other than that, no, everything's great. Okay. okay. Member Johnson. Good to see everyone. Other than that, no comments. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I just have one question, new to the board. When these fines are challenged, when, when you make fines, who goes to collect it? Who goes to collect the fines? I mean, where does it go? How does that process work? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Let Mr. What happens Gaines if they say we <laughs> explain <laughs> that one? <laughs> the, the fines oh, will be recorded and become the lien on their property. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just the same Ultimately, as nature. Ultimately, if the city was so inclined, they could foreclose that lien. Okay. Well, I know this mobile lane property that was up here is not much of a property to begin with. If the fines continue, they're just going to abandon it. So. That's, a, that's all we can do. Florida statutes only allows us to find a property. Okay. They want to let it go. They don't want to come into compliance. So who collects the money, though? I mean, who goes out and actually collects the money? One of the officers? No, 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 no. No, if somebody, say somebody wants to refinance their house and they find out they have a lien, uh -huh. we, we, we work with them. So okay. Let's say they have a $50,000 lien. We do have a lien reduction program, but they have, to, they have to pay at least the lien reduction program. Then we release the entire lien. But okay. we don't actually physically go out and collect money. They'll, they'll come in here and they'll pay at the water counter. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but we'll, we'll land, it probably would be from a sale. Yeah, probably. Right. I do have a question, Mr. But when, yeah, we're not a collections I just agency. wonder if, if you guys went out with and collected money or no. had someone else do it. No. 
I, they'll call and say we have a lien and then we work with them and they come in and they pay it. Uh, Mr. Gaines, do they plight the area ever? Does the area get plighted? Where they just say you want to put a street there or they want to put a mall there. Do they, can they just take the property if it's in that oh. condition? Are, are you talking about a eminent, lien on the house? Are you talking about eminent domain? I'm sorry. Eminent domain. That's what I'm talking about. I apologize. Stand corrected. Um, if the city has a project that's necessary, then yes. the city can can take a property by eminent domain, but that's not it, the city of uh, Coe's th This is not eminent practice. domain. No. You could go in and compel them or get a court to compel them to address a safety or a public health uh -huh. hazard. Uh -huh. But that's different than eminent domain. Uh, I, okay. I just wanted As, to as uh, I'm a realtor, and um, typically what happens when there's a purchase to a house, mm -hmm. um, you get a title company. And the title company's uh, responsibility is make sure that the buyers are getting clean title. If there's a lien on the property, that can hold up the sale, okay? So in a case like this where you're charging $50 a day, after 10 days it's $500? Do you issue a lien after five, 10 days, or do you wait until it's in compliance, if it ever comes in compliance? We wait 30 days. We wait, wait, we wait until a compliance date. We don't automatically put that. We don't automatically record it. We wait 30 days. Uh, so we usually what happens is a, a realtor or a property owner or a title insurance company will exactly. call us, and we have an online program. They pay $125, and they find out immediately if there's any building permits that are you know, unopened or done, exactly. if there's any liens. Uh, it could be a water bill lien, could be a code enforcement lien. It gives them all that information. But they pay the $125, and it, it goes to them immediately. And then they call us and say, ah! <laughs> and something, something was brought to my attention, too, Mr. Gaines, that um, there, was, there were cars blocking the neighborhood homes and it was a business yeah yeah and that they couldn't function on that block because whoever owned those cars or that business <laughs> looks like you heard of it already they had already um, taken up like people's driveways entrances that, that's a police matter if anything on the street is not the jurisdiction of code enforcement, right. that's police. Even if it's blocking people's homes and things like that? That is definitely police. Yeah. Gotcha. Does that, does that include yard waste and stuff as well as it works or it's not code enforcement? For, for what? Well, like mobile lane, directly across the streets, a huge pile of branches blocking one lane of traffic. It's been there for a long time because it's already decaying. I didn't know if that was code enforcement or if that public works or if that's... If it's on private property, it's code enforcement. Otherwise, it's yeah, it's, it's, it, otherwise it's waste connections and they, they have to have money up front to collect it. Okay. If somebody puts too much out, then they have to have money up front with a credit card to pick it up. That's well, it blocks traffic. I just the way waste connections. If that was code. Yeah, if in the street, it's not code. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be public works. Hmm. What question I would like to ask no, no. <laughs> no, no, no question. I mean, as, as a realtor, I mean, I, I see these situations uh, quite a bit. Um, a lot of times a homeowner, they know they're not going to sell, so they don't care about the lien. My question uh, to um, the city of Akoi, is there ever a time where you will pursue um, someone um, who's in violation, who have decided, I'm just, I'm not selling, so I don't care about the lien. In my 10 years here, we have not foreclosed on a property. Okay. We have, we have talked about it. There's mm -hmm. a property on North Lakewood, but it's um, homesteaded. Okay. So there's nothing we can do about it. That is so If it's rented out, then we can foreclose, but it has to be a pretty phenomenal fine because attorneys are expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, if there's a, this particular property has a $3.2 million lien on it. It's a house. Mm -hmm. We're never going to see that. Okay. You know, how much do you really want to fight? Are you going to spend $50,000 on an attorney to get a $100,000 property? Yeah. But that's, that's above me. Yeah. If it was a danger, um, you would. Would that force it? 
can. Uh, it's, it's, it's difficult if somebody is living in the, on the property. Okay. It's hard to abate when somebody is there. Right. We don't want to get shot or legally in trouble. <laughs> it can be an attorney question, too. Okay. okay. If it's vacant, yes, we can abate as long as. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Um, code enforcement, all they do, do they just look to see the permits are issued? Is that pretty much what code enforcement job is? I mean, there was a, a, vi a violation, of, they didn't get a permit, and they were doing some construction, and they were basically clearing land. And I know that that land had endangered species on it, but all it was done was they were issued a stop work order. Nothing was ever done beyond that. Is that all yeah, the code enforcement stop, can stop. do? Well, I don't know what you mean. I mean is we, that all the code can do to do is say stop working there, you can't do any more, they can't say you need to replant it or rehab it, you know? Yeah, that's not us. That's going to be the planning and zoning or building department that handles that. Really, all code enforcement it says is you need a permit. Really, we just chase them in, planning and zoning tells them what they need to do, or the building department tells them what they need, need to do. Okay. And like, for instance, the, the couple today, we say we get a complaint from a citizen they don't have a permit we look it up they don't have a permit we chase them in building department tells them you need to get survey you need to get engineering drawings we don't tell them that we just find them yeah, yeah. and that's that's not, that's, that's not the obje objective but at all. Yeah, it has to be because how long do we find them we just want them to come into compliance right but that's my point. If they don't come into compliance, what 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 is the alternative? Then, well, we, I think then right. The only teeth that we I have think, is fine. Ultimately, I think that was the point of that case was it was we weren't necessarily there to penalize them. Right. We were trying to give them some time to get this work through. Right. It obviously, it looked right. like they right. were not two months. I hope savvy is on this whole permitting site well, and engineering. <laughs> and, and One of the I, things uh, that was I don't oh. think we're supposed to be discussing. Oh cases oh. that have been brought but okay oh, okay well, well general one idea of the anyways. things i wanted to say and this is just in general um again you know as a realtor a lot of times i run into situations where uh the homeowner this is my property i have done um you know i can do what i want and sometimes as um, you can see that that'll come up uh, from respondents, but one of the things I would like to, uh, you know, remind all of you guys, every time a homeowner, you know, once they put in a contract for a property, um, Florida, the laws are very clear about HOAs and, um, you know, things that as a, a potential um, homeowner, they'll get uh, the rules and regulations and all of that, covenants, restrictions, right. declarations. Unfortunately, more times than not, the homeowner, they're so excited about buying a the property, they're not trying to read all that stuff. But they need to do that. And so to show up here and, and begin to say, oh, well, this is my property, that doesn't get it. In America, exactly. there are laws. That's right. And yeah. that's why I asked him about the HOA. Yes. That's what, that was why so. my specific question was about the HOA. Yeah, okay. He need, he, he need to understand that. Yeah. Well, just going I, forward, let's keep that in mind. We can't yes, talk about specific. No, it's not specific, but, yeah. but I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's something that has to do okay. with the case, I guess. Okay. Well, with that, if there are no other, well, we didn't ask more. our esteemed attorney. <laughs> Any comments? No, not tonight. I'm impressed with your performance so far. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, Mr. with that. I have one more comment. Uh, just to keep it on the board's radar, um, November is coming up. Our board meeting would be the week of November if you mm -hmm. choose to have it. Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, week of Thanksgiving, yes. Okay. Uh, typically, the board would uh, at least discuss whether they plan to be in attendance or not. Mm -hmm. So I'd just like to remind the board for our next code board meeting um, to look at their schedules ahead of time and so that we, we can make a consensus on whether we were going to have a November meeting. Okay. Plus, we may not have a board attorney in November. <laughs> well, he's, go he's going to be in Rome, and if he doesn't have a replacement. Okay. Poor guy. 
So no actions needed done at this time, just to keep that in mind, and we would need to discuss that in the next meeting. Okay, well, let's do that. Yeah. Well, with that, um, I am going to meeting adjourned. <laughs>